being able to read the wave and apply the right amount of aggression to tackle the wave. Like I think I think that is a skill that is really cool and seems like applicable to other challenges. I think one of the things I really appreciate about being here is the sense is that everyone who works here, whether it be Luis or Gabby, or, or the people who source massage or stretch class, everyone feels like they are here to help us have the best experience. And they feel like they're happy to be here. Like there's a team energy around them that they have their own culture of wanting to support us and love us and lift us up. And you feel inspired, whoever it is that you come in contact with. And it's just, you just feel like you can accomplish all your goals and that you, you know, just feel really grounded and cared for when you're here. You go ahead. You want, this is my second time here. The first time I wanted to be just a better surfer. And then when I what I experienced here the first time, I was like, I need to keep coming back. I was in a point in my life where I needed to like take some time for myself and do some significant major healing. And I decided after watching people surf in a beautiful point break on Martha's Vineyard that I wanted to learn how to surf. And a friend of mine said, you need to go to Costa Rica. You know, I'm, I'm not a quitter, Pepe. I am, I am going to uh, succeed no matter what. I'm going to keep pushing through. This is a really good place for me to learn. The coaches are great. I feel super supported. I always wanted to be able to surf and um, it felt like a great way to begin. So it was, it was kind of um, the beginning of really enjoying it. I've come with my son, and now I've come with one of my daughters, and I have one other daughter who also surfs. And I feel like one of the things when you ask Lucia about her surfing is like she's never had any instruction. And so when I learned about this place, I had never had any instruction either. I was like, this is where I want my kids to learn how to surf. I consider myself somewhat athletic. I've played all kinds of sports my whole life and I always have seen like videos or movies of surfing and to me it looked like a cool sport to learn. And I said, why not give it a try? I just love coming here to surf and being around the coaching staff, the food, the people, and also getting away from the cold weather back home is an added uh, bonus. But just, you know, I don't, that's the only time I really get to surf is when I come here, and it's just, just a great place that I discovered and just love coming back. I started in 2012, so this is, I think, my 14th visit. Keep that left hand forward, so then that way that right arm isn't wanting to come here as you're winding up. Being patient and, and working on consistency, whether it's uh, surfing or the work I do, it's, that's something I could translate to. Hips forward, shoulders forward. We're gonna cross step all the way to the nose. You're going to take four steps. This time we're going to do an 85. 
and then we're going to cross step back. So grown up as a gymnast and went to college on a full scholarship, I really wanted technical coaching. So I went online and I just Googled like technical coaching for surfing and up pop surf simply. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to, I watched the video, which was the, you know, week of video. And I was like, oh, I need to go. And that was the beginning of a whole new chapter in my life of learning how to surf and surfing has become a way of life for me. So my coach was Jessie this year and she has the most amazing flow and connection and joy when she's surfing. Like I wanna be able to just grab myself in the wave and be able to feel it and read it and you know, just move in, in the flow of the wave like she does. But just like an incredible human being and we shared so much and we had such an amazing experience and I walked away with so much knowledge and understanding about surfing. Cross stepping versus shuffling. You kind of answered this already. Why are you going to cross step? It's going to allow the rail to stay engaged while moving forward. Whereas if you shuffle, that rail is going to, is more likely to engage and disengage. So watching her surf because i'm like can you surf so i can watch you like when when i catch a wave and i'm on the inside will you catch a wave so i can see what she's trying to teach me and oh my she's amazing so yeah i'm so grateful to have had jesse harry was my coach and we worked on everything from uh angled turns to carter turns and trimming turns to um, reading the water and the waves and tides. Question, when we go down to the beach this afternoon, lower tide, wind's probably a little bit onshore, how are we going to decide what waves we should go or not go on? Should it be an X or Y or Z? What could we do to make that decision? Um, I had Marlon. Here he comes. I think the biggest thing was to really uh, set up my stance properly, not to rush, make sure my, the rail on my board is engaged before I stand. That really set me up to catch better, more waves in a better position. You know, it, it's a place where if you decide that you want to learn to surf, it's, it's a very supportive environment. You know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful place. Um, the waves are great. The conditions are great. The weather is great. And you have people around you who have a tremendous amount of knowledge. And so I would say it's a great place to learn. And no matter at whatever stage you're at, um, to sort of push yourself forward. So because I've been here before, the stretching has always been yeah. very difficult for me. But I have incorporated the stretches I've learned here at Surf Simply in my daily practice of stretching and yoga and whatever other movement things I do. And this is the first time in the few times I've been here where I came back and I felt like it's not as painful. I'll just put it that way. It was still difficult to do, but I feel like because I've been doing those things throughout the year, um, they weren't so traumatic to my body. Lau was. She's, she's the best. She's a rock star. Yeah, she rocks. <laughs> we love her. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is very, um, well, obviously very knowledgeable. They're all great surfers, but um, more than that, very, very much, um, um, supportive and nobody sort of looks down at you no matter where you are at in your journey towards being a better surfer. So it, it, it's a very comfortable place.
Uh, for me, like everything was perfect, right? The food was amazing. The food's always been amazing. Like every time, I've been here twice, like I said, and the food has been amazing here. Uh, top quality chefs the, that that are cooking the food. Uh, the stretch classes, I definitely need the stretch classes, and I see where where I'm lacking. Um, the staff, the staff is so friendly here. Eh? From from the maintenance, from the housekeepers, from the the, the front office staff, everybody, right? That you're greeted uh, like they know you, and it, it's um, at the end of the day, it's it's we we talked about this yesterday. Was it's that Maya Angelou uh, quote, right? Like it's 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 how people make you feel, and this place makes you feel like you're you're so welcome. And uh, yeah, it, I, I I can't put it into exact words, but it's just you know it's the the, the little the little touches that they, that that this place gives you that you're just like I feel like I'm at home. <laughs>